return to the high country, back to where it all began in 2016, the sixth KTM Australia Adventure Rally returned to the region for 2022. Just a few months later than originally planned, however, due to substantial flooding in the region on the original dates, 150 KTM Adventure Riders were treated to the full high country experience in February 2023. Kicking off at beautiful Lake Hume, just outside of Albury, riders rolled into the Lakeside Resort on a scorching 35 degree day. From one extreme to the other, you just never know what curveball the weather in Australia will throw at you. So here we are at the sixth annual KTM Australia Adventure Rally. We have returned to where it all began, the high country. We're so excited to be back here. It's a little bit of a rocky start with weather postponing us late last year, but we're back and even though uh, the sun is shining a wee bit more than I might like, it's going to be an epic five days in the most beautiful parts of the high country that we can access. So. We have over 135 riders, we've got 40 support staff, and we have got the KTM Adventure Community hitting the high country for our 2022 KTM Australia Adventure Rally. We can't wait, so follow along and we'll take you on the journey with us. Here in Aussie for the KTM Australia Rally, and like, these adventure rallies are like, one of the most fun things I get to do all year. Uh, we've got this one and then in a few weeks time we've got the New Zealand Rally as well and but these events I reckon are some of the best things I do all year long. They're multi-day rides, point to point, like true adventure, you know, exactly what these bikes are designed for. And the best thing is like it brings together people from all over the country that all have the same interests, the same passions and we just get to do our favourite thing for a whole week. So last year I was fortunate to do almost all the KTM adventure rallies around the world. This year uh, we're just sort of getting started but I've already done a really cool trip through Panama on the KTM 890. So we did a whole bunch of riding schools and then rode from one side of Panama to the other. I feel like I've got enough bike time and ready to go into this one. I am one of the managing directors of KTM Australia and New Zealand. I'm super excited to be here in Australia and especially here in the Victorian high country. Um, it's a great opportunity for us to get out our bikes in the field, what they are made for. The excitement is really high. Sean Jabba from KTM New Zealand. I'm managing technical support, making sure the guys are all looked after at the end of every day. Any small issues they've got, they'll come to us, we'll sort them out and get them on the way again for the next few days of the rally. On this rally, we try to carry the majority of spares that would go wrong on a rally. So brake levers, clutch levers, all that kind of stuff, the basic things that would go wrong. But we do have stuff to do a few more major jobs, like some radiators, um, slave cylinders, all that kind of stuff. If it does go wrong, we can assist as much as possible. So we can redo fork seals and everything. So. We're pretty jacked up to be able to do as much as we can to help the guys throughout the rally. Welcome to the KTM Australia Adventure Rally! And oh man, I am fortunate enough to have run this event in Australia for, oh, this is the sixth year. As Rosie already mentioned, the KTM Adventure Rally is now part of all of the world. So we're running the KTM Adventure Rally in Europe, in the States, in South Africa. But what is very unique here in Australia, because the concept of the Adventure Rally has all started here in Australia. It's a pretty uh, big honour to get to come and do these events around the world and I yeah, feel very, very fortunate to come and do this. The way that we go like point to point, new places, new town every night, that's, uh, it inspires a lot of jealousy around the globe, I can tell you. And uh, that's what these bikes are all about, you know, going new places, travelling, covering distance. You're all very experienced riders. I've ridden with a lot of you guys. It's really cool to see the, the new faces. It goes probably without saying, but ride to your ability. Just cool to swing past and uh, haven't made a KTM Adventure Rally yet, unfortunately. Now I'm racing um, Dakar Rally, which is obviously the, the toughest event uh, besides this one in the, um, <laughs> in the world. So. So thank you very much guys, enjoy this week and um, yeah, looking forward to see you all in the field.
And here we go. After months of anticipation, day one of the KTM Australia Adventure Rally High Country kicked off under beautiful blue skies heading from Lake Hume to Mansfield. The excitement was high at the bivouac before riders rolled out, with challenges aplenty awaiting them, with even the most experienced getting more than they bargained for. go for day one. I think the first motorbike started up at five o'clock this morning. The guys are obviously excited. Uh, so it's going to be a long day today to, to Mansfield. A lot of uh, ups and downs, dry, rocky, typical you know Australian terrain I think. And uh, everyone's really excited and ready to go. Pretty nice to ride some areas I've spent very little time in. So just getting new exposure and having everything organised has got a lot of appeal for us. On the first one from Genderbine, um, yeah, they're all just good fun and you get to meet guys you only see once a year, uh, yeah, just lots of fun. Rosie, don't ever ask me to crew. I've never pushed so many bikes up a hill in my life. <laughs> but it's a whole lot of fun. It's great helping the guys out too. Yeah. He did well today. Good mate, we've been riding together since kindergarten. <laughs> Absolute chaos. Got about five or six metres up and just washed out. Full throttle bike went out underneath me. Got it back up, back to back down the hill and uh, went again round two. Nailed it first time so Definitely the most challenging ride I've had so far, but we're only day one in, so heaps to go. Did all the hard bit, thought I was through, thought, oh yeah, walk in the park now, caught in a rut, flicked it around, dived over, and I had to get rescued. <laughs> Great fun. Well, that was bloody scary. Uh, I'm okay, but pretty sore. So, it's a 
pretty cruisy bit of trail. Just caught the back wheel on that rock down there, which was there. Thankfully, you know, got the good gear on, got the armor on. It hurts, but uh, I think I'm okay. Bike's not looking too good, so. That might be the end of my KTM rally, unfortunately. I do have to say a massive round of applause to Huffy and Sprocket for day one's route so far. I think it was an awesome day though, and guys, and seriously well done. It was not easy, the main route was not easy, and uh, the track did bite a few riders today. And our very own Birchie. But he's all right, Birchie, and I think the bike's all right, and he should be able to ride tomorrow, which is awesome. But we just want to make it really clear that the main route is harder than it was today. There's a section called the staircase that definitely is a bit of a challenge. And what a day it was. KTM Australia Adventure Rally is known to push riders out of their comfort zone and challenge them to exceed their own expectations. And day two from Mansfield to Bright set the stage for another cracking adventure. Yesterday was a bit of a disaster for me. I just clipped a rock really early on and had a bit of a spill. Um, did a bit of damage to the bike, but uh, got back here, uh, got it all straightened up and we're ready to go and have some fun today. Yeah, got a big branch right through the uh, radiator. So they replaced the radiator last night and up and going again.
Craig's Hut is arguably the most famous high country hut. Perched atop Mount Sterling, it offers stunning views of the ranges and is one of the region's most photographed landmarks. First built as a set for the Man from Snowy River film, the hut has now become an iconic symbol of Australia's settler history and is a must stop for any adventure rider exploring the region. Yeah, I'm not moving as quickly as I normally do, but uh, I'm glad I got back on the bike today. I mean, peace back to you the last night and yeah. Even if I'm moving a bit sore, it's way better than sitting in the hotel room. So this is good. And I wouldn't get to see places like this, which I've never been to before in my life. So take some pills and carry on. Up from Mansfield today, and we had a decent ride yesterday. So a bit sore this morning, and now we're up at Craig's Hut from um, the man from the Snowy River movie. So but yeah, the ride today's been awesome. Heaps of fast tracks and everything, and plenty of jumps, and yeah, we're having a great time. So Probably the highlight of the day so far was just going through the forestry. You're doing about 60, 70 the whole way through, keeping a really good pace. Not as much dust, and you can just fly through it. Yeah, some of it was just graded, which is really nice. Um, but you got a couple of big jumps in there as well, which is really good fun. 690 working as as best as I can. Lake Cobbler. We're about halfway through day two of the KTM Rally in the High Country and I gotta say it has been an epic day. We had some amazing tracks up into Craig's Hut this morning and it was challenging. Uh, like it was main route but it was super challenging so everyone got through, worked together, the camaraderie, the teamwork, it's been epic. And then we did a section just then called the staircase. Again, a little bit of a challenge, but we got through it and uh, had lunch at this beautiful lake. So, how good's this? Forget your foregone conclusions. Settle in, settle now. Love the whoops at the beginning, sensational. Um, straight through, bit of high speed stuff through the forestry up at the top there. Um, 
think it was all just a bit of a you know good all rounder today. It showed like getting up to the mountain tops through the stony sort of areas, getting up to the mountain tops and having a look. Sensational, fantastic. A great day. Yeah, it was um, a bit hot again though, but and dusty, but we're having a good time. And the feed here is fantastic. Great beer. The main route tomorrow is a fantastic one. If you've never seen Blue Rag Range before, it's absolutely iconic. And you can even duck in maybe one or two Ks into Blue Rag, see the epic views, and then duck back out again. You don't have to do all of it. So for those people who are doing the main route tomorrow, it's going to be epic. You know, take stock, see how you're feeling, and only do one in Gata if you truly feel up to it. A route coordinator like Huffy tells you that it's tough, it's tough. The reason I say that is because access for extraction, if something goes wrong, can be very tricky. But we just want to make sure that you guys are really thinking about if something does go pear-shaped, it is going to take many hours to get you and your motorcycle out of there. And after another big day, the stage was set for day three. With riders able to choose between two fantastic road options, but only those looking for a serious challenge would tackle the infamous Wanangata Station. guys we're heading into day three of the KTM rally now today's route offers riders two quite different options the main route is gonna be absolutely stunning the scenery today is gonna to be amazing and we've got a pretty cruisy run down Dargo High Plains Road but those wanting a challenge we do have the five chili breakout of the Wanangata so that is at 155 kilometer breakout it's gonna to be tough but it's gonna be awesome for those that are up for the uh, challenge. Hope it's a good day. Day three of the KTM Australia Rally and the big thing today is a 155 kilometer five chili breakout section. That's five chilies on a scale of one to three. So I think today is going to be a pretty epic adventure. Something like 40 river crossings, super remote, places that most of us have never been before and that's what adventure bikes are for. Finish today is going to be at the iconic Dargo pub. So it's going to be a big day on the kidneys as well as on the wrists and the shoulders. the most epic track of the whole event. So the main route, Orange Arrows, going that way. We're going this way. Turn to big uphills, big downhills, lots of river crossings. I've gone out early, gonna try and help the guys in some tricky situations, do some filming with Rob Kerba. And uh, yeah, check this out. I think it's gonna be pretty cool.
love you. Well done. Basketball-sized rocks scattered randomly in some of these crossings meant nobody was safe. And dewatering your motorcycle out here is not the position you want to find yourself in. But with plenty of hands on deck to help each other through, the camaraderie of a KTM adventure rally was never more present than through the morning gap. Dude, washing the spark plugs. Push mechanic on the go. I'm bugging. Is it a good day? Mate, I counted about 50 creeks. Good solid day's ride. Creeks, hills, had the lot. Fantastic. Any big challenges in there or you just breeze through? Oh, a couple of loose hills and a couple of coming out of a couple of the creeks were a bit um, a bit loose, but all in all, good day. Best all day right. of my life. <laughs> <laughs> the track was fantastic. Relentless. Now I know why it's five chilies, it was relentless. It shows you how big the downhills are today yeah. in five oh, chilies. They, all those knobs are out there somewhere. <laughs> My hills just went down. That's did all the river crossings, Yew. everything else up here. What a great day. It, mate, it was unbelievable. The sport today, huge day. Mate. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> we even took it for a swim. No, is she all right? Yeah, yeah, we got it going. Yeah. How much water came out of the exhaust? Lots. Lots. <laughs> There are not many places in Australia as iconic as the Dargo Hotel, founded way back in 1898. And there aren't many better evenings than experiencing this unique pub nestled in the rolling high country hills after a big day's adventure riding surrounded by 150 mates. Another cracking day greeted riders as they rolled out of Dargo 
heading south for a fuel up for both riders and bikes in Bansdale before heading back into the high country with sights set on Dinner Plain. Today we're going from Dargo, which has been a really cool place to spend the night. And we're going over the mountains, more high country trails, up through the snow gums, all the way to Dinner Plain. Hey mate, you can't park that there. I didn't park it here. <laughs> it was all hands on deck for this rescue. The rider was all okay, and thanks to the team of KTM helpers, so was his trusty 890R. This is the essence of what the KTM rally is. Riders banding together in the good times and the bad. And having a great sense of humor definitely helps when you're adventure riding. Great bikes, great scenery, great people. Can't recommend it enough. I mean, the moto gods sometimes just hand you a day. I thought it was yesterday, but it might be today that we can all just be eternally thankful for and look back on in our deathbeds and rank up in the top five days of our entire lives on a motorcycle. That's how good today's been. Loving it, beautiful scenery. So nice out here. Unreal, it's just it? gorgeous. It was good. It was great. Yeah, some nice twists and turns and yeah, lots happening. It was good. Having fun. Well, this is all the adventure part. I love it.
many on the KTM Rally is stopping and taking in the points of interest along the way. And what a cool place this was. The name says it all, the dog's grave. The link between drovers and their dogs was so strong in the historic high country, and this stone shrine to Boney, buried in 1863, pays tribute to that. And then we rolled into Dinner Plain, a must visit on any adventurer's list when in the Alpine region. Not only is Dinner Plain track, which leads straight into the village, a great ride with its mix of flowing twin tracks through snow gums and nasty bog holes, but the hospitality and atmosphere in this Alpine village is outstanding. Really, the, the day changed quite a bit, didn't it? Sort of more flat out trails towards the end here, then back into technical stuff into Dinner Plain. So it was um, you know, a vigorous way to end the day. Some of us may have got stuck into a, um, a puddle and not got out. And look at that. Look at that, look at this, look at the technique. Dry hump in his cater, dry hump it out of the mud. Trails have been absolutely amazing. Uh, the breakout sections have been really fun. Really uh, quite two chilies, been technical enough for most people and uh, it either makes or breaks some people's days, so. Another KDM Australia rally and another Motorx air filter maintenance station. Conditions have been extremely dusty. So our air filter cleaner has been working overtime to remove that dirt out of the foam. Our air filter oil has been doing its job, capturing all that dirt to prevent it from getting into the intake. We've been a part of KDM Australia's Adventure Rally for over six years. Every time it's an amazing experience. Uh, we're super fortunate to be a part of it and we're just looking forward to the next one. Again, the reminder, make it back to Lake Hume. We just want to get back to Albury. Let's slow it down a little bit. Well, we've only got the one breakout tomorrow. You just have to be on your A game and it's pretty demanding right all the way through. Because uh, it will be a good cracking day, I think. Okay, everyone have a good day and enjoy it. Thank you. Don't blame me. They might be up on me. I mean, we did tell you, the atmosphere at Dinner Plain is second to none. Especially when route coordinator Huffy's homemade breathalyzer makes an appearance at Hotel High Plains. It was clear to see the ones that didn't pass the test. Well, it seemed like only yesterday we were embarking on this high country adventure, it was time to head back to Lake Hume. A hearty breakfast and farewells from Hotel High Plains saw riders roll out of the Alpine Village and head to Omeo for the first fuel. Day five, unfortunately the last day of the KTM Adventure Rally. It's going to be another long day, uh, probably more open and flowing. Just get some very tired and weary riders to the finish for a well earned beer. We're leaving dinner plane today. We're going back to where it all started at Lake Hume to cap it all off. It's going to be another racking day for the riders. There's some tired bodies out there for sure, but we will be back there for a celebratory beer. Relax, get everyone home.
Romeo at the moment. And then we go on to the to Hume. Final night. Big night. Been the chilliest day today too. Ah, oh, beautiful. Nothing like 11 degrees in the morning. Fantastic. A chilly start through Omeo, where riders and bikes got fueled up, then through the beautiful Omeo Valley. And can you spot the iconic gravel road featured in many an adventure photo and video shoot? Lake Omeo is renowned for being a dry clay pan. However, with the rain of the last few years, it is filled for the first time in decades. Hard to complain with views like this. Big climb up the hill. I was just saying, you never run out of mountains. You just keep finding another mountain. It's awesome. Day five, still having a ball. Don't want it to end. <laughs> Open farmland roads were tempting for riders to wick it up, but the unpredictable livestock had them taking a more cautious approach. Another great stop on the final leg was to visit the little high country hamlet of Minamita, where the local constabulary spends his days taking care of the 30 residents and breath testing motorcycle riders. But don't worry, unlike the breatho of the night before, we all passed this one. Ready to finish it off. Last bit of the last day. Weather's been fantastic. Trails have been good. Dust, there, eh, happens. <laughs> Bike hasn't broken. I haven't broken. What well, more can you ask for? <laughs> With the KDM crew, I like having the backing when if things go wrong. You've got the whole crew behind you if something goes wrong in the middle of nowhere. But I just like getting out in the bush. I don't like riding the same trails twice, so do kilometres. As far as I'm concerned, if you haven't done about three or four hundred k's, you haven't had a good day. Good day, lads. 
Amazing. Lots of Excellent. corners, lots of braking, lots of accelerating. How is it that we got breath tested and you did not? Because I'm charming. <laughs> now, what number rally is this for you guys? Well, I've done every one, so I'm not sure how many that is. I lost count. Stop it. I mean, this is my fourth one. Larry Eaton from Motorworks in Tasmania, your authorised KTM dealer. Good day. It's a good day. Yeah. Some of the tracks are best yet. And the whole week you guys had a good rally? Yeah, it's been great. One of the yeah. Now, How many rallies is this for you guys? This is four for me. Three for me. of the KTM Australia Adventure Rally. Play it again. Yay! <laughs> Let's go again tomorrow. I think it was worth it. Everyone's bloody got smiles on their face. Worked out spot on. What a week! Did you guys have fun on the KTM Rally High Country? Yeah. KTM Australia Adventure Rally. And I think this has been the most challenging one yet. So I think a massive round of applause for everybody to get to the finish line today. And what a week that was. The 2022 KTM Australia Adventure Rally High Country offered a great ride. And from all of us at KTM, we feel honored and thankful for the riders that came on the adventure and for you who have watched and followed the experience with us. So until next time, we hope you enjoyed the 2022 KTM Australia Adventure Rally. <laughs>